Hello everyone. Over the last year or so, we've seen an increasing interest in what the earned value capabilities uh, in Microsoft Project are. Well, there are some capabilities, so I thought I'd put a quick video together to provide an overview of what these are. I'm going to start from the assumption that everyone's familiar with the concepts of earned value and the various metrics that it can provide for us when uh, monitoring the status of a project. So if this is not the case, you might want to do a little bit of familiarization and come back to this video at a later date. So in the context of Microsoft Project, we're interested in what it calls the BCWS, the Budgeted Cost of Work Scheduled, which is the cumulative baseline cost of work to date. What this tells us is what the value of work produced should be between the beginning of the project and the status date. We're also interested in what it calls the ACWP, or Actual Cost of Work Performed, which is the actual cost of our accomplishments to date. And thirdly, BCWP, Budgeted Cost of Work Performed, also known as Earned Value, which expresses our accomplishments or progress to date, maybe percent complete, in terms of the baseline costs. So in other words, it's the value of work achieved to date. By accumulating these three sets of values, we're in a position to calculate two key metrics, the scheduled variance and the cost variance. Scheduled variance is the difference between the value of work that should have been produced to date and the value of work that has been produced to date and is calculated BCWP, or earned value, minus BCWS. The cost variance compares the value of work that has been produced to date to the cost of producing that work and it's calculated BCWP or earned value minus ACWP. A negative schedule variance then indicates that we're behind schedule, a negative cost variance indicates that we're overspending. These variances are typically expressed as indices. So we have the schedule performance index BCWP divided by BCWS and the cost performance index BCWP divided by ACWP. Less than one for either of these is essentially bad news. Uh, just a couple of constraints to mention along the way. Firstly, Microsoft Project only provides visibility of earned value data from uh, the financial perspective, uh, pounds or dollars. Typically, it would be collected initially in the context of work and then monetized by the various rate debts in a financial system and fed back to the plan. Uh, and also there's only one earned value method here, that's percent complete. So don't spend time looking for other earned value methods such as weight of milestones, level of effort, uh, etc. So how do we apply this in Microsoft Project? Well, I've got a little example schedule put together here. In fact, it's uh, one of the templates supplied by Microsoft. So. It's got durations, it's got the dependencies. I have also assigned resources, which have rates and the appropriate work. And the rates will provide us with, with the cost. And I think I'm happy with this plan. I think it's one that we can execute. So what I'm going to do is to set my baseline. So we go to the project tab, set baseline, set baseline. And OK. okay. So the, the work then gets copied to um, the baseline work. The cost gets copied across to the baseline cost. And if I apply my tracking Gantt layout, I'll be able to see my baseline graphically over here. Now, I had also added a column to my table to show BCWS. That currently is zero. And that is because the status date of my project, represented by this red vertical line, uh, is still at the beginning of the project. In other words, there is no work that should have been done yet. If, however, I move my status date forward, so let's assume we're now at the end of this first week of the project, say the 8th, the status date moves forward, and my BCWS will tell me the value of work that should have been done by now, which is represented by these activities. What I'm now going to do is to tell Microsoft Project uh, how much work has actually been completed 
and how much it costs. So I'm going to select these three tasks here and just hit the 100% indicating that they're done. And I'm then going to switch out my cost column for actual cost and report that. So we thought it was going to cost 800 quid this task, it actually cost 1000 as did this one and this one cost 1200 shall we say these two activities I haven't yet started so there's not any status to report uh, nor any actual cost to report what I'll do now is to display my and value fields and check on variances so I'm going to just hide these guys and insert a column here for ACWP insert BCWP Insert uh, cost variance. Insert schedule variance. CPI. And SPI. Okay, that gets us our, our range of earned value fields. Uh, cost performance just below one, not too bad. Schedule performance to date just over 0.5, so there's been considerable slippage in the value of work done uh, as represented by this activity here. Final step would be to reschedule unstarted or incomplete work after the status date so that moves that unstarted activity to the right of time now so that's it for our quick tour of uh, earned value management in Microsoft Project any questions or feedback please get in touch with us via our website which you'll find right here uh, thanks very much for your time and bye for now